Braves hosting the Angels, and the Angels are plus 207 on the money line. The Braves are minus 252. The over-under is at nine runs. The Angels getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way and they would win this game outright, you'd win. Or if they only lost this game by one run, you'd win. The Braves laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by at least two runs. Sandoval pitched once against the Braves last year. Three innings, five runs, five of which were earned. They lost that game 7-2 in Atlanta, and he struck out four batters in that game. The Angels are 4-6 and six as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging 4 and 2 thirds innings pitched in those games and 4.7 strikeouts per game in those games. If we want to get specific in his last five games, the Angels have won his last two appearances. They are 2-3 and three in his last five as a team. His ERA is at 2.8 in those games, and he's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched, so a little bit deeper than he has been going in his last 10. Now, he had... Four, uh, two earned runs and four strikeouts, one earned run and seven strikeouts, one earned run and five strikeouts, then a really bad game of seven earned runs and eight strikeouts, and three earned runs and three strikeouts. I'm saying really bad game for the earned runs part, not for the strikeout part. Now, for Strider, he did not pitch against the Angels either last year or this year, and the Braves are 8-2 and two as a team in his last 10. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched, and he started to pick up his strikeouts again, averaging 8.6 in his last 10. Now, more specifically in his last 5, the Braves are 3-2. and two. They did lose his last appearance. His ERA is at 2.6. He's going 6 innings on average in those games. His last outing, two earned runs and struck out 10. The previous game, four earned runs and struck out 13. The previous game, five earned runs and struck out 10. The previous game to that, no earned runs and struck out 11. And then the game before that, two earned runs and struck out nine. So he's had double digit strikeouts in his last four appearances. Only when I seem to bet him on the strikeout line is when he ends up going under. But that's neither here nor there. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The Angels have won the last two games they've played against each other. The underdog has won the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. And the favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over, the over is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and the over under at 9 is 4-4-2. Four, four, and two. The game they played today was the first one of this year, and the Angels won 4-1. And then they played a three-game set in Atlanta where the Angels won 9-1, and then the Braves won the two previous 7-2 and 8-1. The Angels are 7-3 and three in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4, and they come into this game on a two-game winning streak. Losing back-to-back -back games to the Blue Jays 4-1 and 6-1, and then beating the Blue Jays 3-2 and the Braves 4-1. For the Braves, they are 6-4 in their last 10, 3-1 in their last 4. Sweeping the Brewers 10-7, 11-5, 8-6, and then dropping today's game 4-1. And the over-under is 5-5 five five in their last 10 games, and I don't know if I gave it for the Angels, but just in case I didn't. The under is 6-4 in their last 10, and the under has hit in the Angels' last four games. I'm taking the Braves with the money line. I'm taking the Braves laying the runs and I am going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.